Hello and welcome. I'm Raymond Modulin, aka The Real Estate Monkey. And today I want to talk a little bit about the four types of buyers that you guys are going to encounter when uh, working as a real estate agent, all right? So let's go over the four kind, and I'm sure that you guys can take all of your clients that you've ever dealt with and probably put them in one of these four categories, okay? And the key to this is understanding which one you're dealing with because that'll help you probably speed the process up or take the right path. The very first one I want to deal, talk about is the experienced buyer. Now, the experienced buyer is the one everybody wants. This is somebody that's probably done three or four closings, five or six, um, and they understand the process. They know they come to you, you write the offer, there's a counter, uh, you get the financing, you do the closing, um, and they understand the time frames that are involved. This is key because they want to make sure, or you want to make sure, that they understand, hey, I make an offer, four or five days later, we get a counter, we close 45 days after that, we've got to get the title company, takes so many days, and they don't rush the process. Now, an, uh, an experienced buyer is a godsend, and they're great to have. Contrast that with the second type of buyer, and this is what I call the inexperienced buyer. And in that group, I want you to put new home buyers. Now, for you agents out there that love working with new home buyers, I love you guys uh, because I have a hard time dealing with it. Um, I equate new home buyers to like chihuahuas on speed. You know, what I mean, they're so excited, you can literally see them vibrating. You know, and they want to know something, and they want the problem, and they want to buy a house now. Not only now, they wanted it five minutes ago. And that lends itself to having a very out-of-control customer because with them not understanding the process on how you get paid or the methodology or the time frames, they believe they see a house, they make an offer, the guy responds today, you uh, close next week. So the problem that you get is a lot of times they'll call you and go, oh, I saw a new house. I was so excited. I didn't want to bother you. So I called the other agent and I've already looked at it and yada, yada, yada. And all of a sudden you could potentially be out of a deal simply because this was an inexperienced or new home buyer that just got so excited. So when dealing with inexperienced guys, you have to take them and actually hold them by the hand. And a lot of times, I envision holding them by the collar like you do and hold them back and reining them in because they just want to go, all right? So dealing with an inexperienced buyer is tough, and I applaud you guys that like dealing with new home buyers. Now, the third type of buyer is the thief. The thief is the guy that's going to, no matter what the list price is, I'm going to get it for 20% lower than that. Um, always wants to make offers, that low ball. He's read a couple books out there, and now he's a professional. He saw a bank-owned home, so he's going to come in and list and wants to offer you you know, 20%. And if they don't like it, then they want to get rid of it, and they're going to sell it. You know, This guy is also, I would say, is uneducated, maybe knows the process, maybe doesn't know the process, but yet is still working a methodology that he believes he is going to try and steal it. And in his eyes, 90% of the time, the deal is what he's trying to do and not so much buy the property, okay? So that's the third one. And then the fourth one is the wannabe buyer. Now, we get this, and there are a lot of reasons a person might be a wannabe, um, I've had people that just weren't capable of getting a loan. That one you ought to be able to get out of the uh, your path immediately, especially in today's market. Set them down. Do they have money while you're on the phone? Hey, do you have money? Do you have down payment? What's your credit? All of that. Talk to my financing guy. You can get that person out of the way very quickly. The other type of wannabe is one that is just afraid to pull the trigger. Now, I have dealt with this a couple different times. You, you see what he wants, you find the perfect house, you go look at it, and then you just can't get him to buy, pull the trigger. A lot of times we call this analysis paralysis. Happens a lot in investing, too. Uh, spend so much time thinking about, well, can I save a dollar here by making this offer, or should I do this by do this? And ultimately, when it comes down to making the offer, it's been a week or two, and the house is already off the market. So now you got to go through the same process again with the next property. 
This is a person that maybe thinks they want to buy. They just can't quite mentally get it together. All right. So that's the wannabe buyer. So what you've got is the experienced buyer, the inexperienced buyer, the thief, and the wannabe. I'm telling you now, all of your clients will probably fit with inside one of these four. All right. Uh, that's all I got for today. Come back later. We'll talk uh, a little bit about something else that's going on, whatever strikes me that day. If you've got any ideas about something or you want to actually do a guest blog, give me a call. We can work something out. Uh, I'm Raymond Modulin, a.k.a. The Real Estate Monkey. We'll talk to you later. See you. Bye.